yes, I share my bits and bobs from online shopping, some gifts, and my existing collection of Lego and board games. Today I'm unboxing... I'm not quite sure which what the smaller one is. Um, we can try and open this first. Okay. It's very light. And... I really like the prices, so I'm not trying to guess what this is until I fully open it. Oh, that is very quick. So, I, I just bought this about yesterday and it already arrived today. It's my soft after <laughs> i've been looking for a card holder for a long time and i finally got one from tori birch uh our brand was started with a founding principle to empower women we hope you love your order and are thrilled to your part of our community i found the brand as i was looking for a work bag but i decided against it i found my first Mulberry Bag Alexa to be better fitting <clears throat> for what I needed uh, in my work. But I remembered I really liked their designs. So when I went online looking for a card holder, I decided to go with 30 Birch. And this is my first ever purchase from them. And that's a lovely message actually. Uh, you've got the Tory Birch logo sticker and their usual paper packaging as well. Oh, that is safe. And what I like about Three Birch is that they do send you out really colorful gifts. Uh, colorful uh, shopping bags. So this is the gift pack for my card, card holder. So that's a really lovely a uh, paper bag from them uh, with a velcro sticker and then the card holder is in a dust bag uh, I think it's velvet oh. yeah I believe that's velvet and then this is the card holder And that's the dust bug. Oh, that is really good quality. So, it's a top zip card holder, and they have the logo here. I believe it can hold up to five in the front and another five cards at the back. Um, and then your change so what's inside is just the tag I believe and I really like supporting brands that empower women or focuses on sustainability as well size OS so this is the if you can see that clearly that's Robinson Patchwork top zip card case in tizzle color. So you can see how the patchwork is looking. Yeah. So it's a combination of brown, gray, uh, smooth leather, uh, small grain gray leather, and then there's a smooth white leather. And then the purple leather as well. And it's the same at the front. And then that's the card. Uh, space for change. And that is lovely. I think that is a very good choice for me. Um, I already have an existing wallet. Uh, although it's very bulky. And I find it difficult fitting it in most of my bags. So that's why I was looking for a slim card holder 
where I could just take it anywhere I go. I would mostly use it for uh, work probably when I go to the office. So it has that minimal uh, space needed in my back. And that's, that's beautiful. I'm glad I chose that one after a long time of searching. I'm not actually sure what's inside. I have a guess it could be one of the bag organizers I bought for my Mulberry Alexa bag or a secondhand board game I bought just yesterday. So this will be the first time I opening I'm opening the box. So let's open it all together. Um, it says Mac and Lily in a really nice box. Oh, oh, it's a gift. It says, hi Mia and my husband's name. Happy New Year. We pray for a prosperous, healthy, and safe 2023 to both of you and Biscuit. Oh, Biscuit is our little puppy uh, from Jen, Dex, Neil, and Toby. Oh, what a lovely gift. Oh, that is so nice. Handmade with love, just for you. Made in Cumbria. Wow, way up north. Oh, that's a really nice paper wrapping, Mac and Lily. So, I'm just conscious, I don't want to rip up the whole paper wrapping. Ooh. Some screws and... Oh, wow! Oh, wow! That is beautiful! Yeah, Dan's my husband's name. Oh, that is just nice. So, in the first video, Jen and her family gave us a coat hook for Biscuit. And now, we receive our own personalized, I would say, key hook. Keys, uh, hooks for keys. And it's not strong enough for, for coats or jackets. But this would be perfect in a corner in our house. So that's where the screws will go. Oh, that is wonderful. That is so nice. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. That is really cute. And then this box is... I don't just buy new things online. I also get... Um, second-hand items this will be the first unboxing related to board games and my first purchase of the year for board games as well uh, in next videos I might share our existing board games especially my favorite ones um, that is really secure I hope this is the board game because Someone has really made a point to protect it. I started my board game journey during the pandemic, actually. Um, we couldn't get, go anywhere. So my husband and I thought, what hobby could we do inside? And we got into building lego sets and board games uh, we still continue doing so and i hope doing more of it this year especially yes so even if it's second hand most of board game enthusiasts actually take care of the board games as well um, not just because they plan on selling it on 
but because for every board game you have you tend to cherish it even though some of them a few of them you don't really get to play with as much and that's the case for me as well i have a lot of board games i haven't played yet a uh, lot of board games that i constantly go for um uh, and for each one of them no matter what i always want to take care of them so it's tokaido by Antoine Bausa. I believe it's a worker placement board game. I am not very familiar with the gameplay. Uh, I hope I can share it with you in another video. Um, so that's the box, a really beautiful design. And then we have the rule book of course you never you never have a board game without one and then the actual board to be used wow that almost fills our whole table well halfway I would say the board and then aha uh -huh. so these are the components oh I didn't realize she already had them in boxes that's really thoughtful and this isn't part of Tokaido this is a totally different um, game it's not technically board game but it's tabletop game in a way um, I've been looking for this for such a long time and it's always always out of stock I'm not sure why and because of the availability I just tend to find second hand as well um, it helps with recycling as well if people don't like their games anymore someone else can enjoy it so this is essentially a chest with a different mechanism as far as I understood it before. But these are some of the components. And I hope one day I can share with you the game play or the playthrough we will have for Hive. And it's by John Yiani. So those are really tactile components. It's like from Mahjong as well, if you know what that game is. Yeah, that is such a tactile component. Really smooth as well. So you can hardly see any wear and tear, so that's really good. And most of the secondhand games I've bought were well looked after. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Take care.